Hello to all of you that out there which have a passion for beekeeping and uh, bees. I am uh, Mihai Rus from uh, Stuparol, which is a big uh, beekeeping uh, equipment retailer in, uh, in Romania. And uh, in this video I, uh, I want to share with you one of my methods to uh, quickly uh, uh, develop uh, production hives in uh, in spring preparing for uh, rape uh, harvest uh, early uh, April uh, this year uh, the rape is uh, almost <laughs> almost uh, blooming uh, it might it might bloom uh, in a week or so so uh, it is a bit difficult to, to uh, develop the uh, bee colonies to the strength that uh, we need for a good uh, harvest. So uh, I will show you what, uh, what I'm doing, uh, combining the power of two queens in the same uh, nest uh, to uh, quickly develop and uh, prepare the, the colonies for, for harvest. Okay, let me show you a bit my, uh, my apiary. I am a hobby beekeeper for 22 years uh, now. Um, I am very passionate about uh, keeping bees and uh, uh, improving uh, efficiency in, uh, in the apiary. Uh, this is the first uh, the first winter in which I uh, uh, winter on uh, in polystyrene uh, hives. Uh, I have chosen to use the nukes, uh, which I uh, which I use in the summer to create uh, splits uh, for wintering. So I have winter also the production hives uh, in this six frame uh, nukes. I work only on. Um, um, super frames as you can see I have a lot of uh, uh, boxes uh, small boxes so I work only with a unique frame uh, of 16 uh, uh, centimeters in height and uh, as you can see uh, most of the hives are uh, at least uh, three boxes uh, high uh, this uh, these hives are, have have uh, uh, a bigger family on two boxes and another family on top and uh, the nest is, uh, is a common nest for uh, uh, both of the queens and uh, you will see what they do when, uh, when they are so uh, tightened together and uh, have what they need uh, uh, pollen from nature in times of uh, rain they have a patty and uh, enough uh, energetic uh, store uh, uh, energetic uh, reserves uh, food in the hives so I have two more hives which I, I need to uh, prepare uh, in the way I have explained this is one uh, you can see the patty there and uh, the other one we will start uh, uh, working on it right away is this one you see all this dust on my hives and this is something recently uh, which recently happened it was a, a rain with a uh, dust from Sahara I uh, currently uh, live in uh, in France in the northern part uh, Région Bourgogne if you if you know the region uh, and um, yeah we we kind of have this uh, dust uh, dust uh, rains uh, from time to time uh, I don't know if last year there was one or not but now we just had one so this is why all the hives are dirty this is a good uh, a good hive uh, had, it has developed uh, quite uh, quite good so uh, what we we first do is to check the uh, development of the brood because the stage of brood development is uh, an important factor 
uh, for this method of combining the two uh, uh, queens in the same hive. So, now the brood should be in the upper, uh, upper chamber. Okay. Yeah, we have quite nice brood on this uh, frame. You see the patch of cap brood and uh, you see the uh, young larva and uh, even some eggs. This is what you need to see uh, in order to decide that uh, a hive can be uh, combined uh, in this way. I can see brood, uh, cap brood on the other frame and here is honey and maybe cap, uh, maybe brood beneath but it looks uh, well enough for me to, to be uh, combined. Okay, so we also have some reserves. Uh, it's quite heavy. Okay, so what do we do next? Uh, in this place we will uh, put a queen excluder. Usually in the harvest time I'm using the 12 frame uh, hives. You can see one here. So I use the 12 frame uh, excluders which I cut in half for this uh, nukes. And uh, for the combination to not take place uh, directly, even if uh, when the blue chamber is well developed, uh, there is no problem to combine them directly as well. But yeah, let's take some measures. We put uh, a paper, newspaper, for example, uh, sheet uh, beneath the uh, queen excluder so that they uh, chew uh, little by little uh, in the night uh, the paper and combine uh, with the family which, which we will put on top. So let me uh, prepare a little bit this paper and we will go to the helper family to see what, uh, uh, what it contains. Okay, so the main uh, family is there and uh, I have some uh, splits here which I can use, uh, they were winter on one uh, box and I can use them as helper families uh, to the production hives. And this is how they look at the moment. And we should take another look to see exactly how the brood is looking. Usually the, these uh, splits contain the, uh, the young queens that I made uh, last year and uh, right before the main harvest only one queen will remain in the hives so from there on the uh, methodology is uh, as usual <laughs> but uh, it will remain the, the young queen. So in this way I change my old uh, queens uh, right before the main uh, harvest, let's say. So you see the, the white queen from last year. She has also nice brood here with eggs and uh, small larva. This is what you have to see. You have to see when you make this combination of two hives in the same, uh, of two families in the same uh, hive. Uh, you have to see brood in all stages, cap brood, uh, new uh, hatching larva and eggs, so that you know that the um, family is, has started to, to, bre to uh, grow uh, and uh, it is occupied with uh, this activity. So they will, do, uh, they will not bother if uh, two families are put 
one on top of the other this is this is very important otherwise you might lose one queen this happens uh, even if with if you take these precautions uh, it happens like uh, five uh, five percent of the tries you make this is what uh, what I have uh, observed now let's uh, leave a little bit the bees to enter the the hive and then we will steal this box and put it on top of the other uh, you should do this uh, when the bees are uh, not flying so much I do not have time and uh, I came today and they are flying a lot or do it in the in the evening but I will leave some uh, uh, some families here I think one of these three and uh, they will catch all the bees which return so it will be no no problem to lose uh, to lose bees okay so now I'm I'm just uh, uh, taking this box uh, from uh, from its bottom uh, uh, component and I will uh, stack it on the on the other colony and in fact this is all okay so I have just stacked uh, this one box colony on top of the two box colony uh, the colony on top has the new queen which will uh, be the production queen for this year for 2000 and uh, 22 uh, here the gates uh, I have closed the gate the gate for uh, for the weaker colony the smaller colony and the only the gate of the uh, stronger colony remains uh, open uh, what I'm doing because at the moment even even if today it is a good uh, weather uh, next days the rain is coming and uh, the bees will not be out for uh, harvesting pollen so I'm offering a, a pollen patty, uh, very good, uh, uh, with a lot of uh, uh, raw uh, protein. Uh, it contains 23% uh, substitute of pollen and uh, pollen, and also uh, hive olive, which is very important for the health of the colonies uh, in spring. So this is what I'm offering. I know that I have... Uh, um, honey frames inside, so frames with honey and in the next weeks I will uh, uh, check the uh, honey reserves and uh, when I add the fourth uh, box uh, I will put some, some more honey uh, frames there so for the moment I give them the, the pollen patty uh, we have here the queen excluder, a paper one colony and the second colony and during the night they will create a common uh, nest and I will show you in the future uh, videos how a colony uh, uh, like this uh, develops it is quite impressive it develops exponentially and uh, you will see uh, a lot of growth in the in the following uh, weeks Unfortunately, I'm a little bit late with uh, this uh, procedure, so uh, I'm losing uh, now a little bit of power, which uh, I should have had uh, before the uh, rape, uh, uh, rape uh, uh, harvest. But yeah, that's okay. Uh, okay, so let me just put the candy and then I will prepare the, the feeder to give, uh, to give the hive also some, uh, some syrup. Uh, I have the syrup prepared, so uh, it's a good idea in this period of the spring uh, to give uh, uh, liquid, uh, uh, liquid syrup uh, for them to develop. You see that the colony is strong, it, uh, it is already uh, heating and uh, the water uh, which condensates on, on the foil, you can see it. Yeah, this is the feeder. Uh, the brand of this uh, polystyrene hives is called uh, uh, Pea Hive. It's uh, an Italian uh, uh, hive. Uh, I'm quite uh, fond of it. Uh, 
because it's quite uh, thick and has a lot of uh, uh, nice uh, components like the feeder uh, which is a big uh, big capacity feeder which can feed two uh, two colonies if you want uh, we have some uh, diaphragms uh, which can uh, split uh, uh, this box in two but at the moment we need them uh, like they are so I will just uh, uh, roll a little bit this foil like this fold it so that uh, the bees communicate with these holes and uh, then put the feeder on top and offer some uh, some syrup with a uh, hive alive uh, here so this is for uh, for this first movie uh, hope uh, you find it interesting uh, please help us with uh, uh, subscribing and uh, liking the video if uh, if you consider uh, it uh, interesting uh, because we are at the start with this uh, international channel and uh, all the help uh, uh, you can give us is uh, appreciated so uh, bye bye and see you next time here on the on this channel have a nice day good luck to you all the best of health